Super Ducati ends with success. Chaz Davies wins the season finale in Estoril. A moment to remember for the rest of his career. Firstly, super pleased to be with the Go 11. They're, they're like a family um, family team and a lot of passion. Uh, and I can see that already. I've obviously only just joined, but it's immediately obvious. So that's the sort of group that you want surrounding you. Um, and I've been in those sort of situations before in my career. And I always find that's when you have that kind of atmosphere. It's how it really does get the best out of, uh, out of me personally. I did, there were a few moments where I thought, well, maybe this is the best way to finish. I won the last race did my job and uh, go home and keep the head high but something still burns inside me um, and I still have scores to settle and things to uh, races to win and and, and uh, you know I'm still very passionate about this sport and I still put in the effort that's that's necessary to to bring home those kind of results and I think until the when the day comes where I'm really really tired of it I won't I won't race but um, you know, that decision I'm not ready to take the base of everything starts with the material because you need uh, the material to continue the form that I had at the end of 2020. The starting point is that and um, that's, that was the base of everything is to have the confirmation that I will receive the, uh, the correct material because quite honestly if it was anything less than factory support I probably wouldn't be sat here today because I'm here to win, I proved I can win, I feel like I deserve the material to, to to, that I can win on. The support that I'm receiving from Ducati is to receive um, factory material. I'll be uh, having a factory bike at least at the beginning of the season and then it depends on the upgrades that come during the season. It's too early to say how it's going to play out. Obviously if, if I'm in a very strong position then I think uh, it's in the interest of, of Ducati and in the interest of myself that I get the full support the same as the, the factory team. The starting point this test and um, in the next test will be the the bike as we finished in 2020 and obviously we finished with success so it's the right way I think to start especially having not rode for a few months is to just start with the same base package and then start to introduce some of the changes. Uh, I've got a new crew chief in, uh, in Pete Jennings you know it's really something that I've wanted for a little while now is to, to work with somebody in, uh, in my native tongue and be able to explain myself in depth and explain the history of the last couple of years and really you know I really feel like Pete's Pete understands me already we've only been sort of together for a couple of days but he really gets where I'm coming from so that's that's something I feel really 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 good about when you score the most points of everybody in the last nine races then it shows that we have some form we have consistency um, and that's what we need for the championship now we've got another winter ahead of us where for sure nobody's sleeping here so we need to not be sleeping too and the key is to arrive at the the first race with a, an elevated level we can't rest on yeah we won the last race but we can't rest on that we gotta keep pushing on you can't win in uh, in world superbike if your if your head and your body and everything is not in the the peak sort of condition certainly i do believe that we can we can keep fighting for a title as much as anybody else here. We, we've, um, we've proven it before. I proved it at the end of last year, very recently. So I think, um, yeah, there's definitely still belief there.